So we generated all these posts. You can see in the previous video posts right here, but now we need to make it look pretty, get everything set up. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna use CrocoBlock. CrocoBlock is amazing. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below. Please use that link if you decide to purchase it, but it's a lifetime, you can get a lifetime subscription from CrocoBlock. At this time, you can do, I think it's 750 for about 500 websites or $1,000 for unlimited websites, but it's like Elementor Pro on steroids. You get to use so many things. I'm gonna get this set up using a skin in CrocoBlock but that's what we're gonna walk through, but you can do this on your own in other ways. But this is just a raw website. What we're looking at, we have a bunch of plugins still in here. We don't have anything set up, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to CrocoBlock. Again, please use my link in order to get there, rebrand.ly slash crocoblock-affiliate-link. And then when we go there, you're gonna be able to purchase it. I'm going to open up my account and then in my account, I'm going to scroll to the very bottom down here and I'm going to find this CrocoBlock wizard. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. I'm going to put it on my desktop and then from my desktop, I'm going to go ahead and go to add new plugin, upload pro plugin, and then I'm going to go ahead and drag that file into this and install now. So what it's going to do is it's going to install that CrocoBlock wizard. What this is gonna let me do, is this is gonna let me use a skin or kind of like a theme that I've already created. And that theme also installs plugins and settings and things like that. So that way I can go in and customize the few colors that I want here and there, make sure every, the formats, the way I like it, everything like that. But it's the easiest way in order to get everything set up super quick. So I'm gonna show you that process right now. I'm gonna go to activate plugin. So whenever we get to this, CrocoBlock start page. We're gonna hit the let's go button. As I mentioned, I already have a skin set up, so I'm gonna walk you through this. But what you're gonna need it first is a license key. On your, on your account, you're gonna be able to find it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up mine under this view details, and we'll, I'm gonna paste it into that box on the other page, but I'm gonna pause here so that way you don't see all my information. So after you go ahead and put that in, you're gonna see these two options. We're gonna go ahead and do full CrocoBlock installation. Click install and we are going to continue with our current theme. We are actually going to skip this. We're actually just going to go back to that plugin. Now that I'm looking at all these options, we're going to go to the CrocoBlock wizard start page because I have a skin. If you want to use one of their skins, please select one of the design templates that I just left that page from, but I'm going to use the one that I have. In the description below, I'm gonna put a link to my website where you can download this skin. Feel free to use your own. If you guys do find this helpful and you think it would be helpful for me to make more videos on how to use this and how to get the most out of CrocoBlock, if you're gonna build bulk website, you gotta do it. I think Zimrider and CrocoBlock are the way to go and everything else, you're gonna be able to maybe find another way around, but I think that those two are super paramount. But I'm going to do select file and then I'm gonna use my own template. So as we go through that, we're gonna hit start installation. And we're gonna download all of these plugins. I'm gonna hit continue. It's gonna download those. We're gonna come back whenever this is all done. Okay, once it's all done, you should've got all green check boxes. If you got any red, you might have to go back and put in that license key, make sure you're set on that. We're just gonna go ahead and do a pen demo content. There's nothing in there except a few images and some colors and things like that. So I'm gonna do go ahead and do continue. Again, we're gonna come back whenever this is all done. Okay, so once all that gets done, go back to our dashboard. I'm gonna show you, this is what the home screen's gonna look like. Got some things set up, some things that we need to change, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. But what we wanna do is we're gonna start by getting editing things with Elementor. So Elementor, we're just gonna start with the home page. What I would do, you can change these recents, get rid of them, whatever you might like. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them up so you can navigate them. We're gonna go to this, First category right here, um, smart post lists. I'm going to change it, change the category, and you can change it to whatever you'd like. But we're gonna go ahead, I'll just do SEO basics for the first one. And then so these are gonna be posts from SEO basics. You can change the font, however you might like, the style, things like that. 
the next one I'm going to go through. I'm going to change the change it to keyword research right here, and I'm going to change the title here as well. And then finally, I'm going to get down to the last one. I'm going to go to query control at the bottom. Let me add the third category and you can continue to duplicate these. Uh, easy to duplicate, right click, duplicate and make another section just like it. More categories, keywords, etc. I'm going to do this one. Oh, this one's going to be, let's see. Oh, on and off page optimization. Awesome. Let's say you don't like these colors, you don't like purple, etc. What we can do is we can change these colors by going here, go to site settings, global colors, and you can change these. So let me see, make it yellow. See, yellow is going to make it like here. So then um, that color is going to stay there if you want to change this. And then the footer is going to change as well. Um, you can change secondary colors. Let's see, I'm gonna make this a green. So when you hover it, the secondary cover, color is gonna be there. Text, you can change that as well. Accent, it's gonna be like a link or for meta, something like that. So, but I am not gonna save any of that. Discard the changes, because I'm gonna keep this the way that it looks right now so that you guys can see it as well. If we want to go in and change, let's say the side icon, things like that, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go, let's see, exit here. Uh, you can exit however you want. I'm gonna go to the dashboard whenever I exit. And then whenever I exit, let's see, I'm gonna go back to this and let's say I wanna edit the header. So I'm gonna go here. So from here you can edit all sorts of things. You can edit the site logo, things like that. Plenty of great options here. This is one of the reasons I love Croco Block. Um, you can change it here. You can change it to text if you want it to be text, things like that. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna do image. I'm gonna leave that as is. If you want to change your navigation menu, this is the main navigation menu. We're gonna set that up here in a second, but you can do that as well. But I'm gonna leave everything as it is for now. So in order to edit that menu, we're gonna to go to Appearance, go to Customize. We're gonna to go to Appearance, we're gonna to go to Menus, and then we can start to make that main navigation menus. If you want, you can go down here and add to menu. Awesome, save menu. And then let's go ahead and take a look. Awesome, they're all, all right here. So then all of our keyword research posts are gonna be right here, et cetera. I'm gonna go back home. So we're just about all set up with everything. Everything's looking good. Please, if you do change this, make sure to change the footer to your copyright as opposed to mine. Um, if we want a privacy about page terms used, let's go ahead and set some of those up. So let's go to our pages. In our pages, we're gonna have some sample pages. I'm gonna go ahead and trash this sample page, and I'm gonna trash this one as well. The privacy policy, we're gonna actually generate down here under settings and privacy. And we're gonna go ahead and do, oh no, I'm gonna use create a new privacy page. Then you're gonna to wanna to go through and get rid of all the suggested text. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit publish and then we'll connect them. Okay, we're all done with that. What I wanna do is I wanna copy this link right here and I'm gonna go in and I wanna edit this footer on the home page down here. So in this, I wanna add a hyperlink around the privacy page. I'm gonna copy and paste this. I'm gonna add a link, add that right there so that way they can find it. I'm not gonna add an about page for this one um, you should in order to rank, but for this sake, I'm not gonna do it just because you're gonna see it. And then the terms of use page, 
we're going to go ahead and just grab a generic one from somewhere online. I'm not gonna walk this through because I don't wanna be liable for which ones you choose, but go ahead and make sure that you choose one as well. For now, I'm going to delete this though. So it's just gonna have these two. Uh, I'll change my copyright to blog boost SEO. Okay, awesome, let's see. Just about done. Let's see, let me go to my plugins. Make sure to delete all the plugins that didn't get set up with that Croco block. So like Yoast, things like that. Um, I deleted them before, I forgot to record that. So make sure you do that. But the list of plugins that you're gonna want is right here. So, so you can pause the screen and make sure it compares with what you have. Um, I have Rank Math and I have Rank Math SEO. That's one thing we do wanna set up Google, Google Search Console. I'm gonna create a link down in the description below on how to set that up. But in order to find your sitemap, you're gonna to go to Rank Math. And then there are, is a sitemap settings. And then you can copy and paste this one right here. It'll update automatically as you update your post. And you can paste that into Google Search Console and set up Google Analytics, which you can set up right here. Super easy. Just do this and then sign in with Google and go ahead and get set up that way. Uh, the last thing we want to do is set up some of our global themes, customizations, logos, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to appearance. We'll go to themes. Oh. We'll go to appearance and we'll go to customize. So we're going to have all of these on the side right here. So site identity, you can change your logo if you want. Sure, I'm going to make it this rocket. And then I'm going to change the site title to uh, Blog Boost SEO. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that. Awesome. Go ahead and publish that. And so th once that is all loaded, I'm going to go back. And there's nothing necessarily else that I want to change from all this. I already have everything else set up. So let's go ahead and go back here. Awesome. I think we are just about done. If there's anything else, I'm going to put a link down in the description below in order to navigate to some of the other questions that people might be asking frequently. But do stay, stay subscribed to this channel. But at this point, we have a blog post with 250 posts, um, all of our categories up here, people are gonna be able to navigate through that. If you do want to connect with, SEO, with Rank Math SEO, I'm gonna have a video in the description below that helps you get all of that connected so that you can optimize this for SEO. And if you do wanna get started with link building, I've been working on a Google Sheet for that, having some struggles, there's a lot of limitations and quotas that I keep hitting as I try to develop that. So what I do recommend is you do get connected with Link Whisperer. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Again, it's an affiliate that I do get paid if you do choose to use them. So click on that link and that will help you automate the process of build internal linking so that people go from one page to another. Please check out this website, blogboostseo.com in order to see an example of what GPT 3.5 Turbo can build. I'm also gonna build one for GPT-4, so you can see the differences between those. I'll put a link to that website in the description below as soon as I make it. So please, again, if you found anything helpful, you can consider donating to me or you can support me by choosing one of my affiliate links and purchasing from them. CrocoBlock is one of the biggest ones that is super helpful. And if you do find this helpful, find this tutorial helpful and want me to continue to make things that help make this process with CrocoBlock easier, Put a comment down below and I'll make more videos on that.